Hey guys, it's Ryan here at the Extra Rep. Uh, just up packing this morning. I'm uh, going to drive home to Iowa, the great state of Iowa. Uh, I've been missing my cornfield, so I'm going to drive home for Thanksgiving today. And I just want to share some thoughts I've been having and give you a little blog on perspective. So uh, I've been out in New Jersey for over three years now. And uh, the probably the most important thing I've learned is that it is so, so important not to lose perspective and it is also extremely easy to lose perspective on what's important in life and uh, one thing that I've always had to do uh, to help me out with this is always write down my values uh, what my values are, what my priorities are and then always go back to those, reevaluate them and constantly focus on that because the thing is if you don't like I said it's so so easy to lose perspective on what's important and to just get into this kind of constant turmoil of little things in life that really don't matter that kind of consume your life and I found that especially true out here on the East Coast where things are a lot faster uh, there's a lot going on there's so it makes it very easy for things or people to distract you from what's really important in life uh, I like this little fable a friend told me a little back about a fisherman and a successful businessman and this fisherman he he really loved being on the water, he enjoyed it, and he also had a family, had a wife and kids, and you know, he was a very happy man. And what he'd do, he'd go out early in the morning, he'd catch his fish, he'd only catch as many as he needed for that day, and then he would go home. And he'd spend the rest of the day with his family, uh, spend time with his wife, playing with his kids, and he was a happy man. Uh, so one day he goes out and he catches these two monstrous fish, fish right away. And he caught these two fish, and you know what, he's like, well, I'm going to call it a day. He goes and he takes one fish to the market, he sells it, and he takes other fish home and they eat that for food that day. And when he's at the market, he runs into this successful businessman. He goes, and the businessman goes, wow, those are some really impressive fish. And he goes, yeah, they are, thank you. And the businessman goes, how, how long did it take you to catch us? I mean, it's pretty early in the morning. He goes, oh, we actually, we got lucky, did we call him about a half an hour and we came in and we are calling in a day. And the businessman looks at him almost confused and he goes, well, why didn't you stay out longer? Why didn't you put in a hard day's work? You could have made a lot of money today. And the fisherman goes, you know, yeah, we probably could have. And the businessman goes, well, why didn't you then? And the fisherman goes, well, I like to go home as soon as I can, and that way I get to spend more time with my wife and kids. Uh, I mean, those are what's, that's what's really important to me in life, and uh, the sooner I get done with my fishing, the sooner I get to go home. And the businessman, businessman goes, yeah, but... If you made more money, you could, you know, save up some, hire a crew, you get a bigger boat, and eventually have a business that you can not even go out on the boat anymore. You can have them fish for you. He goes, the fisherman goes, yeah, but I enjoy the water. I like fishing. And he goes, yeah, but, I mean, you could fish whenever you wanted then. You'd have freedom. You know, you have enough money of a business, you have, uh, you have freedom that way. And uh, the fisherman goes, yeah, but why do I need that freedom right now when... I'm happy right now. I, I get a fish. I enjoy fishing. I get to spend time with my family and my kids, and I'm happy. And the businessman goes, yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to make you more happy. I'm trying to explain to you that you could then have a business, and you could even turn into a franchise, and you would have the freedom to never go out fishing if you want. If you do want to go, you can go, and that way you have enough money that you can do what you want. And the fisherman goes, so let me make sure I got this correct. You want me to give up the things I enjoy now and give up time I could spend with my family and my kids and watching them grow up to therefore make more money to give me more freedom in the future so I can get back to doing the things I was already doing. The businessman Raz, he goes, yeah I guess you kinda have a point. And uh, I mean that's the fable. Uh, I always enjoy it. It's it kind of helps you put things into perspective. Uh, there's a lot of times in life that we get lost. Like money, money is a necessary evil. Like we need money to live and to have things and to eat and so forth. But it can also, it's an evil because it can cause us to lose focus a lot. Uh, focus on what's important to us and what should be important in life. And uh, I've seen that a lot lately. Uh, I mean, even de dealing with certain people, legal issues and stuff, you you realize that a lot of people just they've lost complete perspective on what's important in life, and money is like consumed them. 
and, and you gotta kind of feel sorry for those people. Uh, they've just really lost <laughs> lost perspective, uh, and it's really hard to keep a positive perspective and keep focus on what's important, especially when times are hard. Uh, this past year, for example, has been extremely hard for me. Uh, I've gone through a lot, and it's really hard to stay positive sometimes but you always have to reevaluate and take a step back and try to find the positive in everything because sometimes that's not easy to do but uh you know you, you have to uh, and it's, i think that's very very important and that's something that's helped me grow and helped me uh do what i've done out here on these coasts so i guess what i ask of you is that maybe during the holiday week uh, thanksgiving is a holiday in which we give thanks for the things in our lives, uh, to take a step back for a moment, you know, make sure that you have, you know, what your priorities are, you know, what your values are in life, and uh, just kind of reevaluate your perspective on things. And like I said, give thanks. Uh, hope you liked what I had to say today. If you took anything away from it, uh, love any feedback, any comments below. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good week.